guys, I'm Taylor and today we're going to be making corn jacks. For the corn jacks, the first step is to add all the dry ingredients into one mixing bowl. So we need three quarters of a cup of yellow cornmeal, and then taking your knife and scraping off the excess, half a cup plus a quarter cup. And then we need three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. We also need three quarters of a cup. So, your half a cup, taking your spoon and gently spooning the flour into your mixing cup. And then taking your knife and removing the excess. Half a cup. plus a quarter cup. Then taking your knife again and removing the excess. Next, we need a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. Here's one tablespoon. going to fill and then taking your knife again and scraping off the excess and then there are three teaspoons for one tablespoon so then we need another teaspoon and a half here's half a teaspoon scraping off the excess and then here is the last one teaspoon Once you have all the dry ingredients together, give it a gentle stir. For this recipe of corn jacks, we only need two and a half teaspoons of sugar. Gently shake it to remove the excess. One. Two. And then taking our half teaspoon measurer, two and a half. Stir this in with your dry ingredients. The next step is to put one egg into a bowl and gently beat it together. we get to add our milk and our butter. We need one cup of milk plus one tablespoon of lemon juice. Always remember to check your measurement of liquid at eye level. Once you have your one tablespoon, gently apply it to the milk. Then pour the milk and lemon juice into the egg mixture. Gently stir these two together. You can set these aside while we measure out our one tablespoon of butter. Taking a butter knife and following the ruler on the side of the butter package. Cut off one tablespoon of butter. Once you've cut it, make sure to unwrap all the wrapping off of it. Then place it into a small bowl to be melted for about 20 seconds in the microwave. Once the butter is melted, set it aside. Then we'll be pouring our liquid ingredients into our dry ingredients. Gently stir these two together. Wow. 
Once they're mixed together, add in your one tablespoon of melted butter. And then stir it again to mix in the butter. Making sure you always scrape down your sides as you stir along. This will help to make sure that all the ingredients get mixed in together. Adding cornmeal to corn jacks is a great way to get extra grains and extra fiber into your diet. Once they're all stirred together, the mixture will be thick but smooth and maybe with some lumps. Then we're going to go prepare our griddle or frying pan. Once you have your griddle or frying pan heating up, take some non-stick spray and gently spray the pan or griddle. Once your griddle or frying pan is heated up, take a quarter cup measure and gently scoop a quarter cup of your batter. Apply it into your griddle or onto your pan. Repeat this process until you can, your griddle is full or your frying pan is full. You'll know that the corn jacks are ready to be flipped when they're bubbly and the bubbles start popping on top. Then take a turner and gently scrape underneath and flip them over. Repeat this with each corn jack. Gently lift up the first one and flip it over. Nice and golden brown means it's nice and done. Flip it on to a plate and serve warm with butter or any other toppings.